I was uh, unable to be here on the television program uh, last night, and, and a couple of months ago I said to Paul, if it comes to that, if there's a, like an emergency nature to this pregnancy, I would like you, if you don't mind, to fill in and host the show. You did another wonderful job. Thank what you very a, much. Thank you. What an honor, though, to be asked. Thanks for asking. It was a privilege to be doing it under those circumstances, but what a nutty uh, thing you do every night, I'm telling you. Well, what, what a nutty thing I did last night. Yeah, you did. You had some... <laughs> You had a few laughs last night. I, uh, Let's I, hear a little bit. I, uh, uh, I don't even know where to be, uh, begin. And, and like I pointed out earlier, m many people have had children. Yes. <laughs> but uh, uh, so here's, here's the way the day begins. You, uh, we go to the hospital at like a quarter of seven, oh. and you think, you know, we'll be having lunch and home by three. <laughs> I, I thought maybe I could uh, even, you know, be here on, on the show. I was looking forward to it. I thought this would be lovely. And, and, and so uh, uh, it, it, we get there at quarter of 7. At 11.30 p.m. <laughs> this is quarter of 7 a.m. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, uh, labor, my God, what a biology lesson that is. Whoa. <laughs> Get there early and sit down front if you can. <laughs> Man! It just... Uh. You know where those babies come out? I heard, yeah. <laughs> it's... Whoa. So, uh, and, I, and I'm there with uh, our good friend, uh, Dr. Lou Aroni, a, a sweet ah. man. He saved my life. He's been on the show many, many times before. And, and, and here's what Lou did. He provided, uh, uh, and how do, how, do, how do women do this? Why, why do they do why this? Why do they do this? <laughs> I, I mean, if somebody explained, if you had a choice between being a male and a female, and they gave you all the, the pluses and the minuses, and then they get to the part about being pregnant and giving birth, well, th there'd be no women on this planet yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> Everybody be checking the mailbox. Yeah, yeah. By the way, check your mailbox you. because yeah. there may be a check in it from me. Uh -oh. uh, because I got to doing the math on this thing, and it's just uh, geometrically, <laughs> geometrically, it's an impossibility. It, it just can't be done. It's like going faster than the speed of light. Fine, Einstein, it ain't going to happen. Uh, but anyway, that's not why you called. So I'm, I'm at the, the, the hospital there uh, with uh, Regina and then Lou Aroni, who shows up for all medical procedures, and I love him for it. Right. And, and pretty soon I uh, realized that Lou's got a stack of menus. Right. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. and, and, uh, and, and, and Lou's, I think there's my personal consultant. Yes, well, I see. no, Lou's there to order in food all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we had a lovely lunch and still no baby. Okay. About 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Lou comes in again like this, like he's been Christmas shopping. And it's, it's sushi. He's got carry-out sushi. Oh. <laughs> now, now you know, like eight feet to my left is, is a woman. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and, and Lou's got tekamaki. Uh -huh. California roll. Right. Uh -huh. Want some wasabi on the... Whoa. Ah. So, uh, as... As, as day turns in tonight and there's still no baby, Lou is saying to me, uh, what about Chinese? <laughs> and I said, Lou, I'm, I'm not hungry. I've eaten, <laughs> I've eaten more today than I have all weekend. Uh, and he said, he said, trust me. He said, I know this from medical school. You'll be hungry later and it takes a while to get the stuff up here. We better order now. <laughs> so we <laughs> We ordered Chinese dinner, well, and, and it, it comes in around nine. And, and it's excuse me, honey, Lou and I and the rest of the medical staff will be in the lounge. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, if there's a thing, you've got the thing. If you need us, we'll be. So we go over and we're eating Chinese food. Okay, so I think that's the end of it. So finally, I say, okay, I got to take a walk. So Lou takes me over to this place where they call it the postpartum room, where you go after the event. But I'm thinking, well, there ain't going to be no event. We'll come back in another week. We'll be back Labor Day, <laughs> coincidentally enough. So we go over there, and there's this big tub of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Lou says, would you like some cookies? Uh, no! Uh, I, don't, I don't have room for the sushi. Why would uh, I want to? And, 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 and plus, it, it's like now, the, the birth of my child is like an afterthought. It's an asterisk. Uh, uh, it, it's, it, it's, it's like Eat Out New York or uh, something. It's a, 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 a food fed testing, tasting festival. So uh, anyway, then, at, at 11.58, uh, uh, it, it, you got yourself a baby. And oh, my God, uh, you know, it's just nothing. It just was crazy. 
And, and the, the, the thing that first struck me is I, I, I could never imagine ever being a part of something that turned out this beautiful. Ah. It was just overwhelming. <laughs> and... And of course, today I'm sick as a dog from eating too much. Uh, uh, and uh, um, he's, uh, 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 they weighed him in. He's, uh, uh, what is he, he's 11 pounds? No, no, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. He's 9 pounds, 11 ounces. Yes. Yeah. 11. That's a great baby. He's, he's 21 inches long. That's a big and and when he cries, he he looks like uh, Edward G. Robinson. Oh, well, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah. And you have any idea what I named him? Have uh, any idea? Tell, you tell. Saddam. Ah! <laughs> I know it's controversial, uh, but uh... <laughs> but what are you gonna oh, do? Man. Wow. Ah. Uh... Uh, but I, I can't uh, say enough about uh, poor Regina. I mean, uh, oh. it's like they hooked her up to a, tragger, a tractor and dragged her downtown and then dragged her back uptown, uh. gave her a damp cloth and then dragged her back yeah. downtown and then dragged her uptown again. Um, uh, and and the, 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 the staff, I want to thank uh, Dr. Hudson, uh, Ada, and uh, everybody at New York Hospital. Uh, what an amazing, overwhelming experience. And uh, here, here's the name of the boy. Uh, I named him after my uh, father. My father, this is uh, interesting perhaps only to me, my father passed away when he was 57. Yeah. I'm 56 years old, and, and yesterday I had my first child, so I named him for my father, and his name is Harry Joseph Letterman. That's the name of oh, So... God bless Dad and God bless Harry. Now, I'll wrap this up in a second. I do have some photos that I want to show you. Here's a rare picture of me and Dr. Aroni when we're not eating. Ah, there you are. <laughs> yes. This is me. This is Dr. Aroni right there. We're taking a break between snacks. Okay, and then this next one, let's see what this is. This, I think, is... What is this? This is... Oh, that's me testing the oh. camera. <laughs> You gotta be, you gotta be ready. Here's the boy right here. Wow. Look. In this picture here, he looks like he's gotten a hold of one of my old hair pieces. I was gonna say, yeah, look at that head of hair. <laughs> And the color of it. It's red, isn't it? And then finally, this is uh, this was me just holding him a little bit. And uh, there you go. And that'll be it for the baby That's picture. That's the best. Congratulations. You and Regina, congratulations. Thank you. So all you did was host a little talk show yesterday, huh? That's nothing, I'll tell you. Congratulations, that was beautiful. Thank you very much. Let me uh, tell you who's on the uh, program tonight. Our uh, lovely, dear old friend Regis Philbin is ah. here, ladies and gentlemen. You know him, you love him. You can't live without him. Uh, Amy Brenneman from uh, Judging Amy is on the show this evening. Indian Larry. Do you know anything about Indian Larry? I'm starting to learn a little bit about him. Indian Larry is, is like the world's greatest motorcycle guru. Uh -huh. it, it, it transcends motorcycle riding. It right. transcends motorcycle repair and design uh -huh. or even retail sales. <laughs> really? Yes. He, he, he is a motorcycle guru. I see. And we're lucky enough to have uh, Indian Larry on the uh, show tonight. And all night long on 53rd Street... Indian Larry will be doing a specialty uh, motorcycle riding uh, tr tricks and stunts. Well, that's a fantastic. Well, in fact, is, is Indian Larry ready now? Indian Larry, 
Okay, what a let's, great day let, to have him on. Let's go outside and... <laughs> and because it's such a, a momentous day for you. And that, that's right. I'll how always we get remember Indian this La day. How do we get Indian Because Larry? of the baby and Indian, Indian Larry. Indian Larry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, of course, it was so cute when the, the little boy looked up at me and said, who's the old guy? Oh, come on. <laughs> 